Hey there, everyone. It's Jenny G. And it is August the 8th, 2021. And we are in an extremely powerful day. The Lion's Portal Gateway has opened. Like this energy started July 26th and it's here until August the 12th. How amazing is this? So we're also on a full moon today. Like I was going to do this video a little bit before, but you know what? I thought, you know what? Let's stay in the very moment of the powerful energy and do this today. Like, holy smokes, right? Like, happy birthday, Leo. Like, I mean, I'm a Leo myself. My birthday is August the 12th. So for those Leos out there, this energy is going to be literally off the charts for you guys today. And you have felt it. But it affects absolutely everybody. So there's a lot of energy being at play right now. A lot of powerful, powerful manifestations like holy smoke. We have we have ascension vibes. The whole planetary energy is affected. Like this cosmic energy affects literally everything, like everyone, all the species and our planet, right? Like so really expect the unexpected, right? Like it's seriously bringing a lot of Lemurian light codes to us, right? Like I literally have one of my Lemurian crystals here. Um, I have many crystals. Like I have so many crystals I could open up a store, right? But um, most of them are packed away because I am the process of transitioning myself to a move. Um, where, I don't know. It depends where spirit takes me to as I call it, right? Right? So let's have a little chat about this new moon energy with the cosmic Lionsgate portal gateway hugely. Okay, but just before I get started, like I channel and work with the Christ consciousness. I'm a psychic medium clairvoyant. Um, I do past life Akashic records, soulmate twin flame readings. I'm an animal communicator and I channel, right? So um, I never use the cards um, at all, but you can see I have cards here and I might, you know, depending on if spirit wants me to, I might put down a couple of cards towards the end of this video. Okay. But anyways, let's have a little chat about this Lionsgate portal. So remember to subscribe to my channel to get more updates or to get new updates on the videos that are coming through. Okay. Like the video and make some comments. Okay. So other than that, all right, let's welcome this powerful vibes of the Lions Gateway Portal in. Holy smokes, right? We have huge opportunities to manifest, huge manifest abilities right now. Like even since like July 26th, as I said, have some of you noticed that, um, you know, what you guys have truly wanted, what you guys have really wanted to manifest has happened, right? Or has been happening, you know, like utilize this energy to the fullest for you guys. Like where is your passions drawing you to? Like, what do you guys really, really, truly want to do? What are you drawn to, right? Like, how many of you have really felt for a little while, especially since the 26th of July when it opened that something big is coming, right? And that's because something is coming for you. Your soul has said, hey, you know, it triggers you and you're like, you know, I don't know. I'm feeling something is happening. Like, is, is, is like, what, what is going on? Right? So this is why we all get affected in different way. Like your soul literally has been pulling you towards a huge awakening for a while. And whenever these energies are are present, your heart starts to kick in, right? Your soul starts to pull in. Like we are in the heart chakra right now. Your heart chakra is getting pulled, okay? And we are all in a huge quantum leap in your soul's collective consciousness. Your soul is literally guiding you towards freedom, okay? Do everything and what's needed to help you shift and transcend forward. You know, really push towards your comfort zone, you guys, and trust the process. Okay, don't see any limitations at all. Like, if you want to manifest things, write things down on a vision board. Okay, don't worry how you're going to get there or when it's going to happen. Start writing things down. Okay, because it's really at the time when you push through your comfort zone 
you're going to start to embrace who you are. You're going to be given, you're going to be showing a lot of different things when you pushed through it. Empower the greater truth of your being, you guys. The, you know, the bigger your vision, the easier it gets, right? Like people might say, okay, I want a yacht. I want to live on an island. Like whatever it is, really write it down. Okay, it starts to get easier, you know, start a vision board, like I'm saying, you know, and, and you got to remember that fear, it will stop you and it keeps you from moving towards your potential. Okay, like just look back, right? Like you guys have seen a lot of like energies, like especially a lot of the darker energies, as I called lower negative energies. It has been shown already in the media, right? You guys, you know, who pay attention to that kind of stuff, like even energies around you, like friends or your relationships or partnerships, people at work, whoever you guys connect with, you have been shown their dark side. You know, like you got to remember our true friends will be there for us regardless of what unconditionally. Okay. You have seen like different dark energies within your family, you know, your friends, everybody that is around you you know you've either seen it felt it or heard about it right like a lot of ugliness as i call it has been shown so really pay attention to the toxic energies that are around you that needs to let go like bye bye thank you for that lesson oh my god i don't want to get connected with you I, it's time for me to walk away i will not be around that type of energy enough of that right a lot of truth has been shown to the surface, right? Do you guys seriously want to stay in that vibe? Because if you do, your energy is going to be there and go towards there. Who you connect with and hang out, that's who you guys will be and are becoming. Okay, so it's really important to stay in alignment with your highest consciousness of where your soul's light is guiding you to be and to do okay a lot of creativity is opening up like as i said expect the unexpected some of you guys might have already had that you know huge job um you know approach you or con confirmed with that job that you have been wanting to do you know miracles have been coming and have happened okay huge manifesting a uh, huge manifestations that door is open for us today and has been open really push through it okay it's a huge powerful day i can't keep saying that enough right and you know, a lot of things that we're struggling with, you know, that your guys, oh my God, like this huge crisis has happened. A crisis is a blessing in disguise. Take advantage. Your soul is showing you what is not in alignment with you, right? As I just managed, managed, or, oh, my tongue is twisted. I'm getting so many messages through all at once from spirit that, I can, it can get very overwhelming. Okay. So just bear with me, right? So whenever there's a crisis, you guys take that as a gift because that's your show, soul showing you what is not in alignment with you. Okay. So what you're wishing for right now, be careful because manifestations are instant. You guys have already seen that. Be careful what you wished for. New beginnings are here. Endings, boom, boom, are happening. Endings to what is no longer serving your highest self. Okay? The cosmic energy is off the charts today. Okay? Like, look up at the sky tonight. We're in the new moon. Like, I do photography and I take photos of the new moon, um, you know, in the galactic. But I unfortunately don't have that opportunity tonight. Well, I might later on. But um, look at the stars, you guys. Really lay back. Look at the stars. You know, see, the sh see them shining. And if you guys are lucky enough where you're not in a cloudy area, let's say, you know, make a wish. You will know what you truly want. Like Cyrus is the brightest star, the spiritual star. It's your spiritual sun. Okay, so that energy is powerful tonight. Okay, you're going to feel braver. You're going to feel more confident to push you through what's holding you back. Like, as I said, push through your comfort zone with trust. Like, honestly, you guys really move towards it and go for it. Your consciousness will be awakened 
has been awakened, pay attention to what messages that you're hearing, what your soul has been showing you. You know, like this energy is pushing you and making you look within. It is activating your heart chakra big time. Okay, your inner child wants to play. And also, you know, like, it's showing you what still needs to be healed as well, okay? There, there's so many ascension symptoms that you guys have been feeling for a little while now, okay? Like your sleep, of course, has been disturbed. And also with the new moon, it disturbs your sleep even more. Like your sleep patterns could be off, right? Pay attention to your dreams because there's messages that has been shown to you that you might, oh my goodness, like, you know, I just recently um, connected with a friend because um, in my dream, you know, their dad who had passed on come to me and showed me something, a huge message for them as a warning sign. Okay, so, and I contacted them and passed that message on. So just pay attention to what your dreams are showing you right now as well. Okay, some of you guys might feel a little bit more tired. That's your body's way of saying rest because we're shifting your body with a lot of DNA downloads. You guys might be feeling restless. Um, where some of you guys might be like, oh my God, I feel like I've had 20 cups of coffee, right? A lot of energy. And also drink through a lot of water right now because um, water will start to detox your body. Some of you might be feeling like headaches, upset stomachs, nausea, feeling very awakened because it's going to affect your solar plexus, which is your stomach of emotions. So some of you could be feeling a little bit more sad than usual and say, why am I so sad? Okay. And one of the main reasons why you're so sad is because your inner child is also healing and your new self is in rebirth and transformation. So when we go through a personal rebirth, we are mourning our old self, grieving our old self because your soul wants you to move towards your new self. Okay, you're going to be moving into your authentic self even more. You know, ask yourself, where are you guys drawn to? Like, what do you truly want to do? What's your passions? Where's your soul leading you to? Where's your soul guiding you to? Like, follow your heart's passions. Your heart chakra is being hugely activated right now. Your true self, true self. I can't express that enough, is coming to the surface. It's emerging. Hold on to that. Release it. No more holding back, right? Your old ways of doing, <coughs> excuse me, of doing things are not working anymore. Like your habits, right? Our addictions, you know, our old, you know, like ways of doing things are being shown hugely of what is not working anymore, right? Pay attention. Your old wounds that need healing, like I said earlier, are being shown, okay? You're going to be shown a lot more clarity as what you are holding on to that's not good for you guys anymore. It's going to strongly come into play, right? If it's a health routine, if it's where you're working, if it's with a toxic relationship, right? Self-love and setting boundaries are huge right now, okay? Pay attention to certain synchronicities. You know, there's a lot of in -sync synchronicities that are happening right now, like things that are coming to the end. You guys have been seeing that certain synchronicities are opening for new work, new jobs, new self-employment opportunities, okay? Self-esteem, willpower, hugely, boom, 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 okay? You're being pulled. You're feeling that huge sense of self, of being authentic. It's always important to be your true self anyways. Why would you be something and someone who you're not? That's going to fade away, okay? A lot of endings, relationship endings, job endings, okay, are happening, transformation, letting go of the old, okay, embracing the new, trust it, okay, you're letting go of the old people, you know, and be grateful, because it's like, you know what, I just don't connect with that person anymore, you know, I feel sad, you remember how I said your guys are feeling sad, 
because you're mourning the old. Your rebirth is pulling you towards the new. So you guys might have a lot of reflections of once upon a time, I, I used to hang out with this person. I used to connect with that person. You know, I miss the old days, but yet that seems so old, right? Because you guys are evolving. That's why. Soul contracts are ending. All right. You're seeing who you're not in alignment with anymore. You're going to be pulled towards more of your soul tribe, more who you're connected with. It's a huge, powerful transformation. OK, so be really open, you guys. Be really, really open and trust the process of what messages are being shown to you. OK, like self-love and boundaries, they truly go hand in hand together as one sacred union, okay? Your past doesn't equal your future unless you guys are staying stuck with it. Spirit is going to help you push through your limitations. Right now with this Lionsgate portal, it's absolutely off the charts, okay? What you're holding on to, push through it, Push through any limitations. At a subter level, there is no pain. Honor your pain with the lessons learned with much gratitude. Okay? Our lessons are always painful. As long as you guys are learning from it, reviewing it, looking through everything of how that led to you, all of that, you won't repeat it. Okay? Sometimes we do have to repeat lessons, of course, until we finally get it. All right. It, we all have our own journey. Never judge anybody ever, ever, ever. Okay. Stay in alignment with the holy present presence of oneness. Stay in alignment with your soul. Okay. Allow ego to let go. Let go of ego. Trust the lower realms. We all have ego. Of course we do. And we can utilize ego to help us push through what difficulties we are having, okay? We can utilize that in many ways. However, when you're in alignment with soul, your soul is going to be the one that tells you how to move through this with ease. Be still in the unity within and expand your consciousness, okay? When you guys are becoming the instrument of universal cosmic consciousness filled with light, love, and wisdom, you are playing a role in the great universal plan by awakening to your true authentic self. When you are resisting, you're going to stop the flow and have confusion. So whenever things are roadblocking, like stopping you in your path, pause and reflect because spirit has a tendency to step in and stop things. To have you pause and say, what's going on? Like, why is nothing flowing? Like, why is nothing moving? That's your opportunity right at that very second and moment. And a gift from soul to say, hey, let's stop and pause and really review what's truly going on. Okay, take that pause and listen. You know, things happen at divine timing when we trust Things stop for us to review everything, okay? Listen to soul to have divine freedom and liberation within and walk towards your soul's path, the path of soul with grace and ease. Surrender completely. When you align within your soul, you're going to ascend. Be your authentic self always. And life will show up for you. You're going to get a lot of signs. Walk with the totality of truth of soul. I'm wishing you all an amazing Lion's Gateway. You can always book a reading with me to get clarity. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to get notifications on all new content and videos that are coming up. Like my video sub and make some comments, you guys. Okay. For those of you who would like to book a reading with me, you, my read, my website will be below soulworkwithjenny.com. You can follow me on Instagram, Jenny Cousins. Facebook, I have a group. Um, I do actually 
um, free psychic clairvoyant readings every week with my soul tribe group, send me an in or send an invite to my group and I will sign you guys up. Okay, so let's just actually shuffle a couple of cards here from Spirit, okay? Um, whenever you guys are using cards, make sure that you clear the deck three times on wood, okay? Because if not, it's going to hold the energy um, from you or from whoever you used it on or whoever used your cards. I've, I have I um, have cleared my cards three times before I even placed them down. Okay, so let's just actually see what energy, I'm going to put my Lemurian crystal right here. Let's see what energy spirit wants to say. Okay, so spirit, what is the message for everyone today on this huge lion's gateway portal for August 8th? 2021 what's the universal message from spirit for everyone today universal message from oh look at that <laughs> trust trust the process now don't force the outcome you guys okay when you guys are forcing the situation it's not going to flow it's going to backfire Okay, trust the process. You have to, like, when I, I surrender absolutely everything, absolutely everything, like I work towards, I move towards my goals, whatever it is I want to manifest, and then I surrender it completely and utterly to spirit. Okay, trust this huge process today. Okay, let's pull another card here. Spirit, what's the final message for everyone what is the final collective message on this lion's gateway portal august 8th 2021 what's the message for everyone for oh what is the message for everyone for august 8th today 2021 for the lions oh my goodness sakes look at that cards do fly out for me they always do right spiritual law of attraction now this card is huge this card you got to remember you guys attract who you are right? Like you can attract, you know, what you want and manifest what you want and all of that kind of stuff. There's a process to that. And I help teach people how to do that. Okay. But spiritual law of attraction is you attract who you are. So if you guys are attracting different things to you and you're like, what is going on? This is when you guys have to pause. Remember how I kept on saying pause, pause. You have to look within to see who you truly are and why you're attracting that to you. Take a look within and meditate. Okay. So I'm going to leave it on that note and I'm wishing you all an amazing Lions Gate pathway portal gateway on this August 8th, 2021. And um, I will put my website in there below for those of you who would like to book a private reading with me. I give you a lot of details. And if you notice the, the photo of the lion actually that I put up, I took that, I do photography. So for those of you interested in that, I'll put in my photography buying links or buying some prints and stuff like that. I'm going to put that link anyways in there. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel channel to get new notifications on videos that are coming up. All right. Namaste, everyone. Wishing you all a beautiful gateway. Om Shanti Om. Jenny G.